And I guess I don't need to say that we're back, but pretty self I'll say it just so point. you know, we're back. Yeah. Well, at, le at least the uh, Russo's team is a uh, badass. I should hear from all their banter in the their talking. There's Bob Tucker again. He gets around. Yeah, he does. That's that's exactly why I remembered Bob Tucker because he shows up a couple times. Chief, there's a bunch of traps up ahead, and they have infrared lights. A present from the Delta Force, huh? <sighs> Touching the light will set off the explosives. They have to be carefully avoided to proceed. Let's hope the twisted don't Spoilers. attack. Spoilers, twisted attack. Just keep moving. So now we have uh, infrared <sighs> traps to deal with. Not as threatening as it sounds. No, it's just basically like, don't. Basically, areas that are blocked off with explosives, and you die if you run into them. So this basically, just so. think of it as a We're wall you die on if you touch. Get your ass over here. Yeah, big fiery barrier or something. Yeah. <laughs> I've never managed to run into them once. So, uh, I get a little gung ho here. I screw up a little. But on the target. first of all, I wait. First of all, I don't have an impact shot done. <laughs> Second of all, I stood around waiting for the, the crossfire to game, so I lost that guy. But hey, I wanted to show up that you could actually do damage to them with the shotgun up close, even while they're in the protective ship. But I actually got a, a good half of its health, so not bad. This is pretty much the next two or three areas in a nutshell. Yeah. Barriers, beams, bullshit. Barriers? What barriers? They can destroy. Yeah. That's the bullshit. Yeah. But the... Hey, I have liberation. But now... Now I get into the problem. I don't... The soldiers won't respawn right here, so... You have what you have. And without two soldiers, I can't uh, get unlimited sniper ammo through uh, switching between them. So that's how I normally do it, just use the unlimited ammo sniper. Also, this bit here, first time you come across that, you're probably going to panic. Yeah, cause that's what I did. I, I basically just ran around going, holy shit, okay, what weapon do I have? Yeah, first, first time grenades. you get in there, you're sort of like, Oh look, an ammo crate, la la la, oh my god! Yeah, Coming out of the once you know wall. it's coming, you basically know that you, if you place a grenade perfectly, you can actually take them all out. Yeah. So, uh, Babble's growing, always nice to see. Place is getting wrecked. And uh, hey, guess what? Crossfire, they can get you from both sides. This bit will cause you a few headaches, at least it did for me. Yeah. No, this, this is where I'm saying, you know, I normally I'd uh, have... Normally I'd have uh, the second guy that's just stand from afar where they can't break my bears and just snipe them yeah. one by one. The trick I found was the big babble uh, route, I suppose you could call it, that came down there. You can actually hide behind there. And there's a chance that, you know, the occasional shot will hit you, but it's much sturdier than uh, the orange barriers. And uh, this is another annoying factor. Look how big the shots are! I can't see anything! I miss. I are good at snipers. This is, this is the main reason why I hate beams in general, this one area. Yeah, I think this is the reason where everybody goes, fuck beams. Yeah. This was the one bit I was dreading when uh, we were getting ready to do these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I have a way of handling situations like this. And here's how you handle it when, you, when you're doomed. Book it. I, I mean it. Book it. Run. Just run and leave. Don't look back. See? Over. 
And every time I went through that section, they had to die on principle. Well, normally I just say screw it. It's too much of a hassle. And I know I'm making a huge mistake here, not going through red orb, but I wanted the gun experience. It'll be your downfall. No, come on, I, 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 I'm, I did average. <laughs> downfall, I say. No, now I go for the red orb. I just wanted the gun experience. Even so, just with no uh, liberation for the gun Um, liberation gauge goes up pretty fast for handguns. Also, this one snatcher seems scarily more competent than all the others so far. I don't know, he kept hitting the bear, not me. Still better than the last couple. I don't know, they at least managed to hit me. Mm. Almost killed guy off too. So, yeah, you can actually shoot the, uh, the bears that are in the way ahead of time. Very much advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, then again, <laughs> that barrier in particular... It's just kind of in the way. There's nothing that really stops you. But, hey, hang on, look, up. You know what that means. You switch to another weapon a lot? <laughs> hey! You wish. Yeah. Ah, uh, so, um, I was looking for the red orbs that actually spawn stuff. Oh, and the shotgun fire. level at the same time, too. But, yeah, if you can shoot that one red orb real quickly and destroy it, those two won't spawn. We got to destroy the orb! So I'm smart and do the right thing and switch to uh, another guy so it won't be shooting at me for a while. For some reason it seems to love that one red orb wall there, so. And that was a feat. Yeah. Not a hard one to get. But ammo and a new gun. Sniper. Woo! Actually, we're going to be needing snipers for episode 4, trust me. Mm. And, uh, yeah, surprise. But, so you could just stand here in safety and shoot the wall with impunity. But I just destroyed it ahead of time. I hear there's a lost girl around these parts. I and that right there might worry you. Some guy. The first time you went through it. Uh, yeah? I couldn't tell. Uh, I saw him casually dodging a twist. Decided, you know, the, and then he disappeared uh, up ahead. Look around. Uh, now I'm basically ready to leave, but uh, I want to get that ammo crate first. After been looking around, still apparently. But yeah, it might look dangerous to get, but no, there's no rover detectors. Just that one spot. Just to kind of scare you. Yeah, and honestly, it doesn't really work, because you just sort of wait for it to vanish, and they go, oh, la 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 la. I was trying to read that sign there, but it's like, do not... It's probably just telling people not to walk with electrified rails. Not that they're electrified anymore, hey, but... What's going on? I thought that was a completely pointless feat. Congratulations, you didn't get your ass killed. Yeah. A little girl is headed your way. So, uh, yeah, we're starting to see bigger versions of the slackers now. Boo, and maybe the future. That's not even a word. Bigger claw. It looks more like a cloak, to be honest. Yeah. They do massive amounts of damage and have a lot more health. Not too much different from the standard model, though. So not too much to no. worry about. Uh, I think basically they just use alpha shield. Right in the cloaca. There we go. Finally, I actually managed to hit. Ah, uh, good point. <laughs> That's because I'm using these shitty unupgraded snipers too. 
Pardon my French. Okay, we're big boys and girls. I think we can handle a bit of bad language. I don't know. Gosh darn it. it this is the internet. Everyone's always on dealing with it. And I get him again. This is exactly why you want to use snipers against beaten eggs. Oh yeah, by the way, the new and upgraded versions that have a different skin, they regenerate. Say it again, one more time. Fuck beans. Ah, I ran out of ammo there where it could damage him so long to get the extra guy. As a sniper. And oh, by the way, I hate this area. For the plain fact that this guy will be is apparently your best buddy and will they will like clamor up against you and push you out of barriers because he needs to be in the middle apparently he can't take another barrier there's several barriers did we just walk into Silent Hill yeah <laughs> it looks like Silent Hill yeah. except squishier for those that didn't notice it, also there was a train that drove by on the track there and I didn't quite get a good shot of it but there was a snatchers r running after it yeah you see he, he follows you and tries to clamber up against you yeah notice how pitiful the damage is from all the great snipers and notice the really small and hard to hit weak point on snatchers as well yeah, you, you don't want to aim for that on the yeah. unless you're like real good. Yeah, basically with, with that weak point you are never going to hit it unless it's by accident. Yeah, but now it's actually, if you can time it properly, you yeah. can hit it. It's just much more trouble when it's worse. Yeah, definitely. By the point you can Wish actually hit it properly, they're practically dead anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, at least to get some sniper experience in, uh, whenever I manage to hit it. <coughs> oh dear, he's stuck. Silly AI. Now he's running over to try and push us out. So, how's about their names? Laren Patitz and... To plank. Oh, by the way, here's a good way of dealing with the uh, beanbags. Bomb grenades. To the Stone Age. Might take a lot of grenades to get them, but screw it. No expense can be spared. They must die, every single one of them. Plus, I had a lot of grenades, and those grenade refill right there. So, uh, this place, um, it's an optional spot for more ammo and more grenades. Generally, it's not worth it because it'll keep you killed. Yeah, dealing with multiple snatchers, dealing with multiple floaty shank bags, whatever the hell they call that's not, that's not the problem. The problem is, you get two guys here, you won't get any more respawns, and they, there's two snatchers, so that means two can jump down off of the, uh, the uh, ceiling and grab them and you're dead. I and if one man is too much closer with that as they did with the exploding shot. I don't know, uh, as long as you're not backed up in the corner, the it's not that bad. But I managed to... I was actually afraid I was going to die there and I had probably had to cut out some bits there, here and there, just get to this point. Unless there was more hilarious deaths. <sighs> but no. <laughs> so, uh, climb up on top of that train uh, that uh, supposedly drove through here. I think I get to show that off in one of the harder, easier videos. Not hard, but you'd say. Yeah, the that's the gimmick. What now? She can't just jump off. Don't worry. She 
doesn't have to. By the way, this section is horrible. You don't have anywhere you space you move and no uh and, and no cover. Yeah. No reinforcements, just these couple of guys that come. And also and they, lots of enemies. And they die to, they tend to die very, very quickly. Yeah. They they die they die faster than you do. For some reason. Circle straight as you can see, not nice. No. And uh the dogs in the background. Enjoy their guest commentary. But uh, no, the most annoying fact is that you have wads to deal with here. And that's what will screw you up. The slackers, not so bad. You can easily dodge them. What? Fifty your health and one Yeah. I say they're easy to dodge when I die with that one. Guys, horribly excruciating pain. As is his custom. Yeah. Why do they even wear body armor? It's not gonna save them. Makes the soldiers feel better. Hey, we put some manner of protection by the fact that we giant shit. I should probably get some of those anti-twisted bracelets. <laughs> probably don't even work at all. Again, it makes you feel better. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, placebo effect only really works for medicine rather than, you know, body armor. Yeah, that, that, that. I mean, if this was a J JRPG or a anime thing, well, it'd be better just to wear the, uh. The piece. Yeah, you, you just want to put on a thong and that's it, and then you go out there with a gun and you battle the twist, and then, then, you're, then you're good, because nothing can touch you then. Sadly, that's exactly what can happen if you hit this game. Yeah. I, I tend to avoid that costume. Well, it's not quite a thong, but it's that the, the, the skippiest one is that the uh, swim outfit. It's not over so, yet, uh, folks. Yeah, this is a boring section where nothing happens. Actually, this section is horrible. What do you expect? It's an on-rail section! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, if I was if I was over there, I'm I would not punch sorry. you. Screw you all. <laughs> it's less painful than this area. Ah, uh, true. I'm just, it's... You have these slackers that have ridiculous amounts of armor, I guess you'd want to call it. Because they don't have very many health bars on this game. And you have limited ammo, so you, if you're doing like a legitimate run without like using overpowered weapons in this one off, or any of the cheap modes, then uh, you, you usually end up being forced to uh, use the rare unlimited ammo handgun at this point. I, I wise up though and start using grenades. On standard difficulty, a grenade or two would have like killed. Oh yeah. Here are the best you can hold for us to knock them back and possibly try to uh, them But just tricking the overdrive you can kill them anyways. Uh, providing your level's high enough. Yeah. Which mine isn't because it started on hard. This section, I think this section is like uh... People get stuck in this section for about a while. More enemies uh, on the yeah. move. Snatchers. This one took me a while. Yeah. Uh, you should have seen me try this for the first time in the insane mode. <laughs> I spent five hours. My fault for not going back and grinding levels and weapons. And if you uh, use the brace while they grab you, it's safe. Always a nice tip to remember. Oh man, okay, you can see him. Yeah. 
The prop is reached three. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, barrier will also save you. But you can't exactly hang on that. No, no, no. But it does have a tendency to show up at the most opportune moments. But if you can manage to not die too fast, then the um, guys will very rapidly spawn. Whoa! <laughs> and uh, a glitch happened, he just sort of teleported and dropped the guy. Smell you later. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what exactly happened there. It's the first time I've ever seen that, and um... Wait, this thing just like activated his warp engines. Yeah! Not sure what happened there, but I wasn't Our complaining since you dropped the guy. And I got to show off, but... This is very cute, this game. And usually when there is a bug, though, there's usually minor stuff. Except for that one sniping bug section. Uh, so, yeah, that uh, shake it for me quite frequently. When I was <laughs> I've only had it happen to me once. That happened to me every other time. Most of the bugs I see is most of the, I guess, if you want to call it his extension. Yeah, that's not really a bug as a, as a work of the, yeah. the engine. I, I don't think Besides which, they have so many things these days, you can't exactly yeah. call them out for anything special. This is fun. I'm, I'm stupid, I roll for you know, those, those uh, balls being shot. Pro tip, back off when they shoot those balls, because then uh, you won't run into them. If you stand completely still, they won't hit you either when they expand. But uh, the homie shots will get you when you stand still. That's the problem. I talk about how they're easy to avoid and keep you hit by them. On the whole, this area is just really more of an endurance run. Yeah, definitely. And then how much you're... crap are you willing to put up with? I don't know, there's, there's, I think there's nine of these. And if you have a high-powered sniper to begin with, you can just take the first three out, walk into the room, and the third of them's already dead. Because they won't spawn until you, more won't spawn until you walk into the room. I'll be damned! We did it! Ba Nice progress is impressive. She doesn't need me anymore. Oh, Come on, Chief. Don't say that. Boar. We have trust in you. <laughs> trust can sometimes be a dangerous Ominous. thing. Ominous. Oh, they're spoiling things now. Entering combat zone. Oh, come on. The way he said it was blatant foreshadowing to something. Oh, yeah, definitely. But don't worry, that's that's not what hurts in the plot. That don't worry, that that's coming yeah. up soon. So uh yeah. To be honest, if I, hadn't points, if I hadn't said that, you probably wouldn't have noticed <laughs> even with a plot explanation. Yeah. But yeah, they're talking about oh, how's the government gonna cover this up, blah blah blah. Huh. Always fun. Considering twenty eight countries around the world I, are have been conquered by the twisted. Files. I think it's gonna be a little there difficult no to hide this one. Having a younger sister uh you need. know, the uh, government, they, they like to deny everything. No, Anything there was not a colossal monstrosity hive thing in the middle of New York. There is You're not a colossal me. monstrosity me. behind me. I deny everything. Oh, oh, God! No, those are not my intestines on the floor. Yeah. We just have very lackadaisical cleaners around here. I it's a bad Chinese. I watched Aliens last night. I thought it would be fun to come and cosplay. As long as you didn't watch Aliens Resurrection. Yeah, I don't mind it so much. Oh well. But we're getting to the end of this video and uh, we got a new shotgun. I'm not a fan of the Shin series of shotguns. It's basically just power shotguns. Do not like. Yeah, the game is pretty much skewed so the impact is the way to go for most of your weapons. But that's because your damage is based on your level when you overdive mm. and kill. But, 
see you uh, in the final video. Catch you in a bit.